What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John Plays here and today I'm going to be going over some of the most powerful and important things that you should unlock in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Lights skill tree. <laughs> So as you're playing through World of Light, you can access your skill tree as soon as you start. And inside here are a whole bunch of things that can power up your character and make your time in World of Light a little bit better. First, a few basics to go over. After you complete rounds, you're going to be getting yourself these little Orby boys in the top right corner. Little Orby boys, great. Every time that you decide to purchase a ability, that's going to decrease the amount of skill spheres that you have. Those are the Orient Boys skill spheres. The best part is you can deactivate or turn off these skill spheres anytime that you want. So say, for example, you started going in one direction and then you ran out of skill spheres and then you discovered something really awesome in the other direction or something I told you in this video and you want to go down that route. You'll be starting off right here in the middle between these two attack spheres. And I'm not going to be going over the basic ones like tilt attack, up, down, shield damage, because you're obviously going to be getting these on your way to your super awesome skills that you totally should have. Just to the left of the starting point inside of this pentagon shape, you're going to find not only a perfect shield recovery and stats increase after eating, but you're also going to find special move power double increase. Highly recommend this. And then also while you're here, you can find unflinching charge smashes. This is super great. It basically makes that all the special moves that you're gonna do, it's gonna increase the power of all of them. Of course, you could always turn them off or refund them and you're going to get yourself some skill spheres back at the price of a small amount of spirit power SP. Great. Just a little bit below this special move power, you're going to find not only a strong win resist, which is great, so you don't need to focus your spirits on that. You're going to find heal with smash attacks. You're probably gonna be doing some smash attacks and when you use this, you're actually going to be healing your character while damaging the other one, which is always what you want to do. If you combine this with the spirit of Majora's Mask and Skull Kid, which allows you to steal health, is going to increase your health quite a bit while you're dealing damage. To the left of here, you're going to be finding activities increase. This increases the effectiveness at the dojo or the gyms or finding items and exploring. I'm currently messing with this to see if this is actually going to be making a difference. So uh, I'll let you know about that. Just to the right of Strong Wind Resist, you're going to find Lava Floor Resist, and that decreases the damage that you get from Lava Floors. However, this is... You get a lot of damage, so you should definitely have Lava Floor, like, negate at all times if you're in a Lava Floor area. And then you're also going to find Poison Damage Reduced, and I don't really ever need this, mostly because later on in the game there's going to be a spirit that makes it so Poison heals you instead of hurts you, which is so OP. So great. So as much as I don't want this, if I were to forget it, it would actually also get rid of these five as well. And I kind of don't want to do that. Although I could do that one and save myself 20 spirit points. That's an option. But right here, you're also going to find Metal Killer, which is a great situational one to have. And Air Attack Double Increase. Increases the power of airborne attacks and Poison Smash. This is a super important one. This basically means that whenever you land a smash attack on someone, Someone, there's a chance that you're going to be poisoning them and then essentially the same effect as being flowered They're going to consecutively lose health, which is great the middle of here You're gonna find neutral attacks plus plus which is all right I don't see myself using a lot of neutral attacks in world of light. So I opted against it. You know what while we're here. I should actually refund this purchase this one Refund the damage floors and then get this one back. Yeah, that way I can actually save a few spirit points. You're going to find some skills in here that's going to decrease your lag while landing. Uh, say, for example, right here, landing lag down, and then right here, double down, which is all right. Uh, if you're doing like competitive play landing lag is super important, but like in world of light I don't see it being that big of an issue 
It's nice with Kirby that I could just do the down B and then immediately out of it go into a smash attack, which is nice. And I find that being super useful. Edge grab up is also really great. And then also because I play as Kirby in World of Light, just mostly for tutorial reasons, I don't really need an additional mid-air jump, but if you're maining as literally anyone else, might not be a bad thing to grab. It's over here in the top right for 100 skill spheres. Also here in the top right, you're going to be finding fast final smash meter which increases the rate that your smash meter is going to be increasing. I usually knock out opponents by the time that my smash meter is fully charged or there's not a lot of battles that like I actually find it useful. However, it's it's kind of situational, so I feel like you should use a spirit instead of coming here for skill tree ability for this. However, while we're talking about final smash, let's hop over to the left side. So this is going to be from the middle, and then we're going to head up and to the left, which you also get endless smash holding, which is great, especially when enemies are flown really far off and then they slowly make their way back. Transformation duration is increased like the super mushroom. That's great. Down here, healing item attraction totally recommend and basically makes it any food including f spicy curry like gravitates toward you and it's always helpful always helpful right here is the double final smash so after you get a final smash either from an orb or filling your meter you actually get to execute two in a row which is great as we know, the computer will completely avoid you while you are in your final smash status. So being able to launch it and then if you missed being able to do a second one, that's great. Who's going to complain about that? Ain't nobody. Actually, since I do have this one active, I should probably invest in fast final smash meter. That way I get it more and then I can have two. Which is, yeah, great. In the top left, you're going to find Hyper Smash Attacks, which increases the attack power and the Smash Attack Charge Speed, which basically means that while you're holding C right, it's going to decrease the amount of time that it's needed to build up how powerful it is. So basically, you get more powerful attacks with less time, which is great. And then also with the Healing Item Attraction, having the Recovery Items Plus is also a super great thing to have. And are there any real notable ones that I wanna talk about? Nah, I feel like that might've been it. But yeah, some of these, as I mentioned, are super situational, like Metal Killer. Uh, the Dr. Wily fight, which if you already experienced it, it's it's pretty challenging. I believe you go up against six Metal Mega Man and then a Dr. Mario in a stamina battle two of the uh, metal Mega Mans at a time. So like the metal killer is super useful for that one. You may also want to combine it with the spirit. Having it active is always nice just because it, 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 it negates how overpowered metal is and you can actually make them launch and things like that before ridiculous percentages of damages. So right now I'm missing 570 skill spheres in order to fully max out my board and I'm about 90% done with the game. I don't know if there are enough skill spheres or if you can get enough skill spheres in order to fully max out your board. So. Yeah, you're gonna kinda have to take the risk there. Also, something I wanna check out, if you, I go to New Game Plus. Don't let a single one get away. Yeah, we know. <sighs> so if I go ahead and I start a full New Game Plus, and then I go to my skill tree, do they carry over? They do carry over. Nice. So yeah, I mean, if you're doing New Game Plus, you're totally gonna be able to fill out your skill tree choose to power up everything and then never ever have to worry about it again because with the new game plus you also bring over your spirits that you have which <laughs> end game you're gonna have a whole bunch of super high level legendary spirits ah here he is master cycle link <laughs> I, I i worked on this one real hard and i was finally able to summon it happy about happy about getting that one i believe in new game plus you also get to have all of your fighters unlocked that you unlocked in the first one yeah you do so you can start the game off with whomever you'd like which is great you're not limited to only using Kirby if that's not your cup of tea. So there you have it, guys. Some of the best skills that you should be getting in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate World of Light. Again, quick recap. Definitely want to grab Double Final Smash. Special Move Power Up Up. Heal with Smash Attacks. Air Attack Plus Plus. Poison Smash and Metal Killer all in this corner. And then in the top left, Hyper Smash Attacks. I would say those would be my top three. The rest of them just generally increase your skills overall and you should be getting them along the way. 
So there you have it guys, if you learned something new, be sure to leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.